All right, guys, we got a pretty full show because we are going to be putting a Heinecker scoop plow head to head up against a V plow and seeing which one comes out on top in a toe to toe race. We're also going to be doing the drink of the day and a whole list of new shout outs at the end of the video. So this could be a fun one. <laughs> Yeehaw! All right, guys, so here's the plan for today. We're gonna have a full day of running around. So the Dodge is getting a new plow. The Snow Dog V is getting retired. Uh, so we have to run down to the yard, drop that, drop the back plow. Then uh, we're gonna give her a little washy wash. And then um, after that, we are gonna run her up to get this new plow put on, so. Let's just get into it. Put that right over there. Turn this off. Throw that on over there. All right, we're off. Well, that was kind of the plan, but our plans tend to be more fluid instead of in cement. And so what should have been a simple drop and go didn't work out so well for Sam that day. This looks like a good enough spot as any, kind of out of the way. All right, well, you gotta remember how to do this one. All right, we got them feeties down. Do the little Ugh. my nice short easy day turned into a little bit of a thing so here's what we got going on I don't know if you guys will be able to see but these this got a wicked bad bend in it and so what you do is you push this forward push these feet put these out and then there's a button over there that is supposed to retract these pins. That's what this does. But like I said, this thing is bent so freaking bad, it's not pulling the pin in as far as it needs to. So I've been on the phone with Christ, the little guys who make this, and they said, I gotta take I gotta manually take the frame off. Or a chunk of the frame off. wonder if we just disconnected this took the tension off that spring and beat that sucker in there if that would suffice might still need to go get some tools though okay so here's what we're gonna do instead of dicking around trying to get those springs off or anything like that we're just gonna take the whole thing off the truck gone we're gonna get her gone <laughs> this is this is a really stupid problem to be having and i know you guys are probably gonna be sick of hearing me complain about this by the end of the video but man what the heck <laughs> so sam ended up working on trying to remove that plow for a good two to three hours before he brought it back to my house and i said let's just pull it right off from the frame we're putting a brand new plow on, the entire frame, everything comes off anyway. Let's just do it right here. I love these Milwaukee impacts. Well, it fuels the way to go too, because you can set the different speeds on there. You ready? Yep. Oh, this one's gonna be good. I'm gonna put them on from the back side here. 
All right. You can do it that way. Ready? I yep. always worry about getting finger pinched between a wrench and a frame. I like how it automatically slows down as soon as the torque is off. Yeah. All right, two more. Milwaukee actually makes a bigger impact now. They make this like monster impact. I haven't seen it. I haven't tried it. Sam's putting the, what are those called? Bolt biters on or yeah, something? I, think they're, I don't know. I think they're bolt biters. Something like that by gear wrench. We'll find out if they're good or garbage. Cause we got one that just doesn't want to go home. One that does not want to go. You got on the wrong right. side. I gotta, I gotta come from it oh, from the yeah. outside. Yep. You get the tight side. Ooh, that's what she said. Be interesting. First time we've ever had to actually use the bolt biters for what they're meant for. Yeah. So this is a 19. 19 will go on. Of course, you know, the more you pound it in, the more you gotta pound it out. <laughs> there you go. You're on. Bingo, bango. Okay, get your face out of there. Yep. So we got one left. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, she's got to wait. Yeah, that's not gonna. So we did get the snow dog completely repaired, but I decided just to go with a new plow. Oh, and I went back good. to the original plow that I fell in love with, and that's a Heinecker scoop plow. Simple, straightforward, no issues. Nice. Man, why, why change this from how every other plow hooks up? So stuff like this doesn't happen. All right, so we gotta cut these off because we had to zip tie them. Zip tie them together so that it would actually uh, work. <laughs> All right, we're finally separated. Let's bring it down to get the new plow put on. We're free, Sam. Oh man. There she is. Look at that. She's naked. Yeah, naked. All right, let's get let's go hit the road. That was that car was just cool. As we go past it, the colors change. Yeah. You don't think you want to race it. When I'm in the Dirt Monkey Challenger, I get a lot of people wanting to play. Come on, buddy. Sam, you gonna take the car back home? Okay. Do you want me to put the seat on? <laughs> <laughs> I probably have that seat leaned back farther than you do. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I made him, I made him turn on the camera so I could say he did. <laughs> uh, they even washed the truck. They did wash the truck. All right, let's go see what the damages are. Where are we? Herman's landscape out in uh, Jordan. 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 Oh. Just the way I like it, baby. Yep. One button, no thinking. <laughs> yeah. She only goes four ways. Up, down, left, right. Yep. This oh my thing. god look at that holy this, crap this is this is the ultimate controller right that is here. it right there oh man <laughs> one button no thinking you know the difference between mine and tim's tim's got the v he has one button there and one button there and everything else is exactly the same i love these controllers. you can do that uh yeah that's that is the best controller in the market period sweet and simple man yeah that goes a long way look at this cutting edge Look at this cutting edge. On my other truck, the reason I went with this plow is this cutting edge, I had five years. No back plow, so it was just these. And it was still, look at these headlights. No, I know, I was gonna say, check those headlights out. Those things, Holy those look pretty sharp. Crap. Yeah. Man. Uh, you know what we need? What? Snow. Yep. <laughs> Now it's not going to snow for six weeks because you I got know. the new plow. If we, if we don't get snow tonight, we're going snow hunting. Yep. Snow hunting that means, that means going 100 miles north. 
just so that you guys know. Yep. So it looks like they got those heat strips in there too. So it's got a trip edge, right? Yeah. So the, what I'm showing these guys is this is your edge, this is your trip point right here. Instead of the whole blade doing the crappy floppy, you're just getting this big fat edge doing it. That is a freaking. Dude, come back here and look at how much cutting edge you have. Oh wow. Look at that. Have you that's your cutting edge. God, that's crazy. That's your that's why it lasted five years and I wasn't even close to being close to needing to replace it. No, I just ended up selling the truck and threw the plow in on top of it and I was like, I want my old plow back. <laughs> <laughs> I want my old I want my old plow back. I love this thing. It's just so simple. I think they tubular, I think they made the frame tubular too. Yeah, it is. God, it's just, I just, everything about these plows, I like. I do, I really do. Looks like it's pretty straightforward getting on and off too. Yeah. Yep. Once you, once you know how to nice. do it, it's just a straight, can't bend any legs, Sam. Yeah, can't bend any legs on that. The last one I had rotted off from. Yes, and that's the way it should be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see you at home. All right, I'll follow you. Uh, so something goofy going on with Stan's truck. I think he keeps kind of doing that. So let's see what's happening. I can tell you what's happening is when they hook the plow up, I don't think they got one of the nuts tightened up quite right. So truck kept dying. And then catching power and coming back to life and dying. What the heck? It just keeps stutter stopping and dying and then it'll catch and it'll come back to life. It's only when we're hitting bumps. Thinking we just got a loose. Well, I guess we're not super far away from your place if we gotta limp it. I'll limp it. But I may end up pulling up. I may take some side roads or something. Yeah, yeah. That's, I'll just stay behind you. I'm going to see how it goes because it was going good. And then as soon as I hit that bumpy part of the road, da -da 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 -da, died. Yeah, and yeah, Then I yeah. pulled over, and then all of a sudden, it just came right back to life again. So that's <laughs> telling me. There's a ground or a wires crossed. It's got to be. It's got to be a ground loose. Or there's a ghost in there. Yeah. Hi. I follow you. Well, uh, annoying. Hopefully we can get her back all right. This car rides amazingly well. It's got truck tires on the back. It's got regular tires in the front and a three inch lift just in the back. It's crazy how well that Challenger still drives for all of the crazy modifications I've done to it. So, she, so the truck would just kind of die, then come back to life, die, come back to life. What is happening? Oh my God. It's gotta be a ground, because I know you guys probably aren't gonna be able to tell in the video, but it's when he's hitting the really kind of good bumps in the road, it seems like is when he's kind of starting to pull over. So that it has to be a ground. Hopefully it's just a ground. It has to be, it's gotta be. Oh, now it's good. Get the heck. <laughs> when I pull over, she'd fire right back up. I mean, it would die, and then I'd just pull over. And oh, baby, go. She'd pop right off. Oh, we made it. God, I was uh, I was watching you dodge all those bumps on the way back. <laughs> it's 
So now look. What happened now? Now my traction control light is showing it's on. I'm not moving, so I, I'm not sliding. And what it would do is it would go on, and then all of a sudden it would go off, and then it's go on, and now it's just staying on. Was it when it was going on? Was that when it started like? When it was really acting up, it, the truck wouldn't even go and drive. It would only go in fourth gear. And like some some of those times when I was pulling out, yeah, it was in fourth gear. <laughs> it wouldn't shift out of fourth gear. So I'm thinking there's got to be either a wire crossed under there or something's just not making good contact and it's sparking a yeah it's not not yeah. making contact yep yep all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring it into the garage and i'm just going to go through the terminals i'm going to clean them all up and then hopefully by tomorrow we'll have a truck that's working so we can go hunt some snow <laughs> probably shouldn't be too big of a deal what do you mean what he means by take it into the garage and take a look at it is we're going to drive it into the garage and hit stuff with a real big hammer <laughs> <laughs> You know how I fix stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what was going on with this other one that was making it so we couldn't really get it off. Now that we got it off, you can see what's going on better. So these arms here control the springs that undo, undo the pins. And you can see now that it's off, just wicked bend in both of those so it wasn't going in far enough to disengage the pins and uh like we said the other time the only way you can get it off then is either to crawl under that truck and, and gamble getting those springs off and pounding the pins in like that or taking it off the frame so i ended up cleaning up going through all the terminals getting everything cleaned up straightened up I don't really know if I found the sweet spot for the problem or not, but it never acted up again. So we did get plenty of good snow to push and we're going to put my Heinecker scoop plow up against Tim's V plow in a head to head contest coming up. We, I mean, it literally started snowing that night, so everything worked out good. It wasn't a big fat snowstorm, but it was enough that allowed us all to go to work. All right, boys, what's going on? Snowplow battle. Tim's V plow against my scoop. We're basically gonna divide this lot in half. Tim, I don't have my back plate on, so no back plates allowed. This, this side has more cars. I'll take this side because I. I don't have a back plate on, it's gonna be easier for me to get in and out. Yeah, I get up. Well, I'll take this side from here over, you take that side, and we're just gonna see how a scoop performs against the V. Let's do it. I'm almost out of fuel, so see how it was. We'll, we'll do if it. If I run out, you'll beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Gas station's close, not that far of a tow. Countdown, Sam. Okay, yeah, go. Who needs a warning? Come on, move your legs. So you guys have seen me use this lot for other contests. It's about as equally divided as you can come. And Tim and I don't hold back when we go head to head because we've raced for, we've plowed together for over 20 some years. We used to race skid loaders in driveways. So we take our racing pretty serious. It's always fun. Oh, here's the thing. These scoop plows, how do they back drag, right? I mean, yeah, it'll miss a little bit on the edges, but look at how clean it back drags. I didn't expect that. Look at how nice it scrapes right down to nothing. Now this is a permanent scoop, meaning that those wings don't fold out in, they don't move, nothing. And I like it like that. I just want 
simple, but I don't can't afford to have a flat blade because it just doesn't carry enough snow. It rained for most of the night last night. The temperature dropped and it started getting real slippery, so we'll have to see. It's Tim with the back plow on there. He has the bonus of extra weight, more traction. Stan, no back plow, so we'll see if he's uh see if he's spinning on this crap. I think don't even want to walk on it. So the benefit of a snowplow contest like this is since Tim and I have actually never missed a season in, I don't know, 25, 30 years, I don't know, I think I'm going on 32, that I've never missed a season and Tim probably closer to 25. We both ha think along the same lines, same patterns, same lines. We're both running the same year truck, same engine. Tim does have the extended cab, I got the regular cab. So, and it's an active lot. So we'll have a lot of cars coming in and out and we've got to watch what we're doing. This is, and we're gonna full plow it just like we normally would. throwing a lot of snow on that sidewalk. Oh, I wonder if he lifted up on purpose over that curb or if the plow itself just lifted up. I guess he didn't throw that much snow on that sidewalk. It kind of looked like it though, didn't it? Yeah, that's good. That, uh, that V plow does carry a lot of snow. Real nice. So we did the tail of the tape. Mine is eight foot two inches across, and his is on uh, full V, I think eight foot six. I need flaps on the front of mine. That is one thing I'm missing. Those flaps. I don't know. It seems like he's not get, he's still getting a lot of snow spray even with the flaps. Get, get a little in the window there? No, not too bad. Not too bad. Still seems like he's getting a lot of snow spray even with the flaps, doesn't it? Be pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's close. Ooh, it's gonna be close, boys. If you guys haven't noticed, Stan wants to win real bad. <laughs> As you watch me go forward, I will actually slam on the brakes, shift it into reverse, 
and have it going bass backwards as soon as I'm done piling in because I honestly did not want to lose. <laughs> I had a lot more cars. To, I know it's an excuse, but I did have a lot more cars to go around than him, and I honestly feel like that was a factor. Really, because I had a lot more back dragging to do, and you guys know back dragging is not as efficient as just containing and moving. Pretty hard, pretty fast. Got a little air off that curve. Dude, it just rode up real nice. I didn't eat the windshield, nothing. You're good. I think I'm done. Yeah, you're done. I guess I can go touch up the curve. Nah, you've been you were getting a lot better traction than he was without that back plow on his. He's been spinning like crazy. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Yep. You've been getting a lot better traction. I see it comes zooming up to that pile, hit those brakes and slide for a good four feet <laughs> right into that pile. <laughs> yeah, these Michelins ain't too bad, man. I don't know. They're the all terrain ones. Yeah, I don't know. They look, here's a, they look, I don't know, kind of taller and skinnier than the other ones. Good for that snow. Oh, that's that, I think. Ah. And here, here's, here's why I think Tim beat you. You don't have the back plow on. He was getting way better traction than you were that whole time because your your tires were spinning pretty bad. I just okay, I'll to, take I that. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to work this throttle. <laughs> no. Actually, you know, with the back plow off, I have noticed a lot less traction. Yeah. I mean, it's just weird. Twenty thousand pounds lighter in the back. Yeah, like four, right? Three, no, no, I'm not sure. No, Probably like no. two, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close to two. I'm not sure. I didn't look at the weight on that. Thing. It might have helped too. He didn't have any cars in his whole hat. And then when the cars came in, they're coming in your side, <laughs> not knowing what to do or where they're going, forgetting where they are. That's no. all right. I, need, I think you need some new tires too. Yeah, I think I need new tires. But I, I don't know about I mean, those. Re realistically, I, I don't think one is better than the other. I think they're just different. I'd like to do like a push test though. Like do a, at some point do like a, a long run. Okay. See the difference in the front of your scoop versus how much this. Because I, mean, I, do, I get I, I do it straighter a lot because you get more area, surface area to push. And then I'll scoop when I scoop, I scoop kind of at the ends to try to catch the stuff. But I don't really run a long scoop pile because I feel like you get more. The next lot they haven't started plowing. Let's go do a scoop test. All right. I mean. We know who won. You won by a slim margin, so. Yeah, like 15 minutes. Yeah, that would be good. Tim's breaking his arm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, scoop test it in. Okay. Um, six, so eight foot six is what? Eight foot six when you're completely. Completely beat out. Or completely straight. Pretty well straight, yep. I'll pull it tight so you can get it. Okay. Yep. Eight foot six. Eight foot six. Temp is dropping. So this lot has not been plowed. Let's measure my. This lot has not been plowed for two two events. What am I at? Eight foot one. Eight foot one. All right. If you go like that. Push your end in. It's eight foot five. Eight foot five. All right. But I gotta be it in, so I'm gonna be narrower than you, I bet. If I want to scoop. If you want to scoop, we're gonna go side by each, and we're gonna go nice and slow. This is just the quantity, right? Yep, quantity test. We can also see how they scrape with this. 
Ooh, look at mine rolling snow. I never realized it rolled snow that well. That's going to help, like, if you've got a lot of really long runs, you need that snow to roll for the truck to be able to move. Dang, that rolls snow nice. I think both scraped good. Got more snow, Alex. The scoop or the V plow, I mean. The V has more. I think so. Yep. Yeah, I think you do have more snow. Yeah. What if I went through thicker snow, though? <laughs> well, I think you. I mean, you're just as clean underneath. You, I mean, that's that's possible, but. If I went through deeper snow than you. I think you. I think you do have a little bit more. You want to do it one more time, longer run? Let's do the long, super long run. And let's make Alex run faster, bass backwards yeah. this time. So that is honestly the way Tim thinks. He that was one of his concerns. If I if he had more snow in his lane than I had, so we switched sides, did a longer run. But I'm honestly so impressed with the way these things roll snow. Both of them now are just rolling snow like a champ. Dang, that is flipping cool, you guys. None of it escaped over the top. You notice that? Ugh. I think he's got it again. Mm -mm. I don't agree. So? You don't think so? I think his is more dense of a pile. No, mine's Yours more is dense. really thin. No, man. Uh, well, you know what? We'll let the audience decide on that one. I think I got that one by a mile, to tell you the truth. But, I don't know, what do you think? Like, okay, I see it from this angle now, Alex. I don't know about the dense thing. Dense means like compacted, right? Yeah, what do you think, Tim? Uh, obviously he won. <laughs> <laughs> and Tim's were all, uh, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Looks like yours got a larger pile this time. It's hard to say because you might be going through little wind drifts or thicker snow and then that would change it. But but from this angle, it looks like this one won. But yeah. when we go over here and look at it, then it looks like yours won. That's why I wanted you to have this side because it'd be more wind blown from the, the edge. But yeah, I guess we can look at it. So then, the, then it comes down to price. Right? I mean, when we raced, we were close. Yeah. Here, we're pretty much close. Yeah. On all accounts. So then... I got probably a little more here, but... Okay. So then it's like, I'm... Yeah, it seems to be... But I'm farther forward than you. By like a foot. So that's why it looks... Look at it. See? Hello! Yeah. Tough to say. That's technical Tim. He'll pull a tape measure out. <laughs> he'll run it from he'll, he'd run it from this point all the way back from where we'd started. Would he do that, Alex? Yeah. And then I'd measure it again. Yeah. Measure. <laughs> 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 he'd measure it one way that way, then he'd switch it around and measure the same thing going the other way. <laughs> yeah, it came out with the same number. <laughs> and that's our for the price point, huh? I guess what it boils down to is the price. What do you want? What do you like? Right? Yeah. I mean, well, as far as working, as far as I'm concerned, the only difference in the controller, let's show them the difference in the controller real quick. At least with these controllers, I, I will tell you, I think the Heineker ha I has the best controller of any plow on the market. It's easy. Hey, on your wings, do your wings hold when you hit a pile? Do they hold or do they cave? Um, back dragon they they fold forward okay but, trying to pull but I, I guess i don't notice if they cave that much on the on pushing forward right because i'll have usually have it winged until um you know okay. i suppose if i hit an ice pile they'd cave okay i've just heard people having problems not with these but with other plows where they just don't hold right so left right and then here's your scoop and v 
but you'd kick my butt if I had it all the way scooped. I just had it scooped for op, you know, optimum uh, op snow. Right. So and then my controller is that. It's just this. Boom, boom. Nothing more to it. Is it left, left right up? Oh, yeah. The same thing, dude. The only thing I'm not, I don't get is the two buttons. I mean, I, so for peace of mind, I'll tell you, I, I did. I hopped in Alex's truck i grabbed that western plow yeah i wanted to smack it against the windshield <laughs> that your controller i got used to them after a while and that sometimes though when western you're controller man <laughs> see that the western everybody to their own man. i always got yeah. the only thing i got hit on was that uh the double tap so if you hit it one way it wings oh the, i the like lower that button you yeah. just gotta get used to it you just yeah. gotta remember which tap you're on i'm sitting exactly. here drooling <laughs> what's happening on? Leave a big wind roll, but you know, operator error. But anyway, yeah, simple. You can't, you know. That's what I like. But you know what? Some of you guys like the Western controller. I hear you. Some of you guys like Xbox. Some of you like PlayStation. Who cares? Some of you like Ford. Some of you like Ram. Some of you like. I almost said GMC, but I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> All right. That's our video for today, you guys. God bless. Go get them. Hope we uh, hope you had some fun hanging out with us. Temp is going to be dropping, so we're gonna we're gonna go hit some more accounts and finally, get some stuff done. Finally, gonna feel like winter. It's been feeling like winter up north for the last two weeks. I haven't been up there. Oh god, it's it was been cold. Negative ten up there, dude. I was out yeah. there trying to fix that truck. It was negative ten. I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fun times in Minnesota. Catch you on the next one, guys. All right, you guys, we're not quite done yet. Drink of the day is sparkling ice fruit punch. Now, I used to drink a ton of these sparkling ices. They're kind of spendy, but if you go to Cub Foods, you can buy uh, you can buy them for a buck each when you get 10 or more. The fruit punch is not my flavor of choice. It tastes like medicine, if you ask me. My kids like this. I just happen to have one and grab it. My favorite is ginger lime on the ice, and then they got apple cider on these, and that's amazing, and grapefruit. Those are three good ones. Still not as good as a spin drift, but still pretty decent. All right, check it out. A list of call outs. So we're gonna be given a short, shorter list today, um, and we've done some call outs, shout outs every, every now and then. So if you guys want a shout out, uh, say it down below. So shout out to number one farmer. He usually says he comes in out of the fields and goes and watches uh, video. So thanks to him for that. Shout out to Nick. Just Nick. Literally, that's his YouTube name, Nick. I don't know how you score that name because, man, I mean, how many people would want that name, right? Just Nick. It's not even just Nick. It's just, I mean, it's Nick. And then Jason Campbell as well. A and K Outdoor Services, and another shout out to M G and M Landscaping, and check this out the board. Let's go. Let's go to the board. Let's do the board real quick because this is pretty cool. The board is definitely cool. I am hooked all over everything. All right, so all of these guys are going to be giving you ten percent off anything you order at Ballard Inc. And he's got, he's get, he's building a trailer and giving it away. It's kind of a big thing. I don't know if people are supposed to know about it or not, but I'm telling people about it. CMP attachments, 10% off everything at their website. That's honestly huge. Like that Hydro Grapple, um, I bought, that's like 12, 14 grand. You're gonna save 1200 bucks on something like that. Come on, that's huge. You guys like, you guys need shoes? Cujo Yardware, use code DirtMonkeyForce on all of these sites. And the top-notch equipment, if you need a skag more, they'll ship it to you and give you 10 to 15% off. If you need Red Max blowers, they'll ship it to you and give you 10 to 15. If you want a loader, yeah, a skid loader, they will give you 10 to 15% off a skid loader. Code Dirt Monkey Force. Now check this out. My LMN banner's still not here. I heard it's on a slow donkey coming out of Canada somewhere. So maybe it'll get here by spring. I don't know. But um, supposedly the banner that I've got coming is huge. So I don't know if it's going to fit in here or if I got to find a new spot for it. But 
Anyway, that's our video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love tagging along. Love reading your comments and talking to you guys. Honestly, that makes my day. Talking to you guys is the best part of making these videos. I'm just going to tell you that right now. So thank you guys. I hope uh, whatever you do, I hope it's just awesome. These Heinecker snowplows, I'm a, I am want to share a little quick Heinecker story with you. Um, I've owned, I owned a Heinecker snowplow for 11 years and it rotted off from my truck, but the frame stayed good. So then I went on Craigslist and I bought a Heinecker scoop plow and it fit right onto where my Heinecker V plow used to be. So I ran Heinecker V for 11 years, no ish, not one issue, not one. Put the scoop plow on and then I ended up just selling it and used that for five years. So I think I've ran Heinecker plows for 16 years and never had a single problem with them. That's a pretty darn good run. And after I got rid of my Heinecker scoop plow, I just, I was like, I want my old plow back. I just wanted it back. So that's what you're going to see me rolling with for a while. Um, and then we've got, um, we've got a video coming up plowing deep, deep snow. I mean, we're talking Alex or no, not Alex, Sam and I go deep in the woods to plow out roads to try to get back so we can harvest wood. That didn't go quite as hot as I wanted it to. We also got a snow bunker build coming up. Thieves stole our trailer, as a lot of you guys know, so we built a snow bunker to stop them. And we've got some more stuff coming down the pipeline. And I want to hear from you. What do you guys want to see, right? I mean, I love building videos that you guys want to watch. So what do you want to see? Let me know in the comments down below. And that's our video for today. God bless you guys. Go get them. And hopefully we'll see you on another one. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. And I will talk to you down below. Catch you guys later.